Ya. It looked like this? Yep. Here goes. Xehanort! What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... we'll all be like Buzz? If we don't find Andy? Wrong! Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. <clears throat> you can't rip that apart. <gasps> what? Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah. I am a toy. And a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature, to never ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah, you can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, now! Giddy up, partner. We gotta get this wagon train a moving. Woody. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a... <sighs> Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. Hey, come up! Huh? We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. Because you are hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that. Let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the hearts joined to yours. Huh? There! Careful! 
Careful! Whoa! Here goes!
So Xehanort got away again. Yeah, he's a big chicken. I'm sorry. What? Hmm? I wanted to get you back to the real world. <sighs> it does seem that we're trapped here. We'll never get home. Yeah, stuck like pigs. Our position appears fixed. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. A shame we'll have to stay a little longer with our new best friends. Huh? Huh? After all the adventures we've had, we're not quite ready to say so long. <laughs> you guys. I'm sorry that I was being so stubborn. Please forgive me. Hey, you were just looking out for your friends. No biggie. Yeah, somebody's got to be the sensible one. Huh? Especially since Woody's always getting in trouble. Gorge, that sounds a little like Sora, don't it? Huh? Yeah, I love what the Pokemon one. Like Buzz. Kinda. <laughs> 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 Besides, if we do go back to the real world, we'll never see you again, right? Oh. But what about Andy? You care about him so much. Oh. And he's still right here with us. Oh. If we follow our hearts, we'll find them again. <laughs> yeah. So, Sora, are you going after the guy in the black coat? Something tells me we can't join you on that mission. That's okay, because you've become part of our hearts. Oh. So let us become a part of yours. <laughs> 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 Thank you! Now, off you go!
to infinity and beyond! You had to remind me? Well, of course. We just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! Hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No. Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys, but it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Uh, mm. I guess we forgot to mention it. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Naminé for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. <sighs> oh, yes, your majesty. Majesty. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well, we gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. <laughs>